morning everyone body beat down here hump day morning just got off the bus as usual doing my walk <sighs> so this is not going to be a short video guys this is going to be a little bit longer than a short video so i made a little video short yesterday i think it was mentioning that you know something about you know having issues with the health and uh, you know our first our first reaction is to go to the worst case scenario and I think that's kind of good sometimes because it gets you prepared now in my blood work that I've had done I had it done in July. I had it done in June and July. Something like that. And it showed a couple of just a little weird uh, anomalies, whatever you want to call it. Weird, you know, just something for concern, like maybe low platelet count, something like that. Now I have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and gout. But most of that's in control with medication and diet and exercise. So that's not the real issue. Uh, the real issue is the other one or two little things that might have been high or low. And uh, you look up that kind of stuff and, you know, and cancer is always associated with literally everything. Eat an apple a day. Oh, wait, but you could get cancer. So everything has cancer wrapped around it. And uh, as a realist, as someone who just takes things, you know, I go ahead and look at the worst case scenario. So I'm going to assume that, you know, worst case scenario. But anyway... I go August 30th to a cancer specialist in Jackson, Tennessee. Dr. Fouché or Fouché, 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 something like that. Not, not the guy that you see on TV on the news. Not that guy or whatever his name is. Anyway, um, anyway I think they're going to do some more in-depth uh, in blood tests, something like that. And... Uh, you know, then I gotta wait for my results, which hopefully won't be too long. You know, I'm hoping that some of this is just, you know, workout related. Sometimes whenever you work out, you know, blood work looks a little different than it should. Or, you know, maybe it looks different because I'm not getting enough of something in my diet. Or, you know, maybe I'm getting too much of something in my diet. Now, as someone who has gout, technically I shouldn't be getting a lot of protein. But when you work out, you have to get protein in order to build muscle and strength. So it's a darned if you do, darned if you don't situation. So I am a little nervous. And, uh, not scared, really. I'm just nervous because, you know, like I said, I always expect the worst. And my mother-in-law, who lives right there with my father-in-law, literally right beside of us, you know, she's just dealt with cancer, had a double mastectomy, and going through all that. My brother-in-law of, like, 30-something years whom I love to death, has terminal cancer and is quickly dying. And uh, he won't be alive m much longer. Uh, and he just, you know, it just happened. Boom. You know, healthy, active, good old boy. One day and the next day, terminal cancer and 
you've lost 100 pounds and losing your mind. So, my wife had melanoma pop up right after giving birth to our oldest child 28 years ago, maybe. <laughs> had melanoma pop up on her neck. She would have been dead had she not got that checked out. And, you know, I've always said that we all have cancer. It's all in us. Uh, it's in us all. And at some point in time, we're all going to suffer from it uh, if you live long enough. So if I have it, it won't be a surprise. It's going to suck, but it won't be a surprise. One thing's for certain, though. If I do end up the worst case scenario, I'm going to start eating again whatever I want to eat. <laughs> I'm going to have a soda. I'm going to eat a real ground beef cheeseburger. And I'm going to have some chips every day if I want. But I'm going to keep on, to the best of my ability, trying to inspire not only other people out there in the world that watch and that follow me, but inspire myself. I want to go out like a champ and not a chump or a chimp. I'm going to do the best I can, worst case scenario, handle it the best I can, and, you know, and I know I'm talking, I know this sounds like, you know, my last days, and I don't even have a real diagnosis yet, but I just kind of wanted to touch base, and again, you know, I look at the worst. And uh, that way, I'm ready. So, guys, no matter what happens to me at the end of the day, my videos will hopefully live on. The positivity will hopefully live on. Hopefully, I'll inspire people to some degree long after I'm gone because that's my mission. And, uh, and when I'm gone, when I do go, even if it's 50 years from now, I still want people to remember one thing. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. Because you don't know how long you got. So you better do it. Do it. We'll see you later, guys, on the Body Beat Down. Have a great hump day. Be awesome. Stay awesome. Inspire someone along the way, including yourself, because at the end of the day, you matter more than anyone in this world. We'll see y'all later.